tops have been in the fridge for 10 minutes now, so I've just moved these out of the way. I did put them back on the tray because it was a lot easier. It wouldn't actually fit in my fridge on these, but that was fine because they haven't got flat tops now anyway. I've melted another 100 grams of milk chocolate in the microwave, and it's just cheap chocolate. I think it was 30p per bar. Um, keep costs down again. Because after all, we're giving these away for free, aren't we? And then, what I do is dip, turn, pull it out. I have tried in the past, and then just tap it on the side. Tried in the past using my ganache, because I didn't want to waste the ganache, but it really doesn't work well. This just gives it a nice, smooth finish. No drips down your stick. It won't take long, then this will set. So tap, 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 tap. Hope you can see this. Might have to get a little bit closer. Okay, and that's setting already. So I'll put that in there like that. I'll try and do it like this so you can see it a little bit better. So we've got our chocolate, we dip it in so it covers the whole of the cake pop. There we go. Let it drip a little bit and then just tap it on the side. You don't want. Now, while these are wet, because that one will take literally seconds to dry now, maybe not seconds, maybe about 30 seconds. Um, if you did want to at this stage, you could dip this into sprinkles, um, or you could just sprinkle maybe some honeycomb over the top, or some little, few little chocolate chips. I'm just going to swirl maybe white chocolate and dark chocolate over them. I might show you how to cover these in fondant too. makes them look pretty because then you can have any colour you want. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to carry on doing these and then once I've got all these done I'll be back. So I ran out of some of my um, milk chocolate so I had some dark chocolate so I've mixed some up and so I've got three or four here in dark chocolate but I thought it's ideal. Oh no I've just blocked that. That's okay. I'll just dip it in here. <laughs> so then it's covered in milk chocolate and a dark chocolate now. There you go, double bubble for people. There you go. Tap it on the side. Have you noticed how you can tap it and you can be really ruthless with it and it won't break off, it won't fall off, and it doesn't fall to bits. Let's make sure that's all off there. Right, put that back on there. So I'm gonna try one of my ones over here which are totally dry. And then, there's a very, very simple way just to decorate them. Just go across with some lines, just like that. And that's it. You can do white chocolate the other way, or you can do dots, whatever you feel, really. I'm going to show you another way of covering these, rather than using the messy method with the spoon. But if you just want to really stretch your finances, <laughs> Poundland again, we've got Jane Asher's kitchen, 20 large disposable piping bags, 20 of them, and they're quite strong as well. Um, so we use these for lots of things. You could also use these for um, sweet cones when you have your children's birthday party, they work out so much cheaper. Okay, so I turn the piping bag right the way down. I haven't cut the end and then I'm going to put the white chocolate in there. It's still quite warm so putting it into the piping bag so it should drip right down to the bottom. You do have to work quite quickly with this. Again this is just cheap chocolate um, 30p a bar and just got 100 grams in here. So when you look at all the ingredients I've used, so it was just basically my offcuts of my chocolate cake with my remainder of my ganache, which I've always got that in the cupboard, 
and like I say you can use vanilla sponge with buttercream icing and whizzle that up inside your food blender and make them into balls, put them in the fridge the fridge thing is the key and that stops you all the sticks falling off the, the cake pops okay then just snip off a really tiny amount at the bottom and then just go over your cake pops so I've done the dark chocolate one way and I'm doing the, the white chocolate going opposite don't have to be really specific with this if you so here are my finished cake pops um, this cake stand I got very very cheaply it was from um, the works on special offer for £1.99 so bargain there as well, it holds 18 of these cake pops. Now, they may not look brilliant, but they taste absolutely delicious. Hope you've learned a lot from this tutorial. Um, if, if there's other things that you want to learn about, then please get in touch. Okay, see you again soon. Remember, we're from Free Cakes for Kids in Colchester.